Good morning, Dubai. Another early start. Um, today we're off to the wreck of the Jumbo, which I've never ever dived before. Um, Stevie, one of my dive buddies, just reminded me that um, we did actually go and walk on this ship before she was scuttled. Um, we then looked for this wreck because it was uh, sunk as a private fishing wreck in the coordinates and we couldn't find it. That was over 20 years ago. We've now got the coordinates and we found that she actually lies the other side of the cardinal mark and was sunk that way on purpose. Um, but now everyone's allowed to dive her. Um, small freighter. Um, Stevie thinks it's about 60 metres long. I'm not sure. Um, I can't remember that far back. Um, but I'm looking forward to being on her. She very, lies very close to the Neptune. And apparently the area that she's in always has reasonable visibility. Again, we'll see that when we jump in and get the cameras rolling. So, looking forward to this one. There we are, we've just had a little swift or house mine, we're not sure, land on the boat for a rest. There we go, poor bird, must be tired. Just flew off and came back. There we go, he's gone on the foredeck. We have a passenger. There we are, this fella's tired. He's joined us today, I don't think he's going anywhere. So as you could see from the echo sounder, the jumbo lies in just over 22 meters of water. Um, we came down the line and the visibility was excellent. Um, we could see the wreck. Um, we came down at the bow. Um, I don't think whoever was in charge of scuttling this wreck did a good job because she had turned turtle. So, but the center section was um, heavily broken up with lots of places to go in and out as you can see but really the visibility was amazing um, the sister wreck I call it Neptune on the other side of the buoy sometimes we get vis like this but more often than not we get uh, three four meters but here it was as close to diving the Red Sea as we get in Dubai here you can see on the side of the hull, this is up near the, the bow. Um, uh, me and my bu dive buddy Steve, we were just on normal fin power. Um, we've done most of the, a lot of the videography. Here you can see me testing the fusion lights. Um, this again is towards the bow. Then we're going now here more towards the stern. Um, we were so preoccupied with what we were seeing around the, the bow and, and the center section um, me and my buddy didn't make it to the propeller so we need to be back I wondered where the other two Steve's were and while we were here shooting all this stuff they were up at the stern playing around and going through the, the propeller um, here's my buddy just giving everyone an okay what was really good, the Barracuda are back and the visibility was good that we could just video these shoals. Um, we find now with the, temp the water temperature getting a bit, bit less, the fish populations start to increase and we get different fish coming in as well. So on, on this wreck, um, we had literally probably thousands of Herrenberg snapper and also we also had the batfish which you'll see later come in um, so here i am just trying out the fusion and there's the other two steves on the scooters so yeah really and we had we had a slight current going from 
um, sternt about, but it was only slight, um, hardly noticeable really. Um, this was some of the parts we could look inside, um, but with it turning turtle, any penetration is going to have to be really well organized. We're going to have to rope off before we go in. There's some more footage of me just checking out the Fusion 1500 um, video light, which is going to be my next um, um, equipment review video on my GoPro and Paralens journey. Again, we're back up close to the bow. Here's Steve taking a selfie, Mr. Cool, and the batfish are back. You know, we've not seen many batfish in, in the in the summer, um, but they were in abundance on the jumbo. So really good. Lots of batfish, lots of barracuda, lots of fish, good visibility. And this guy was really inquisitive. I could have done with him when I got the batfish challenge from Critter Hunter. But fish just everywhere on this wreck. Um, just really nice. And, the, the, you know, the, we dive so often in, in poor visibility. When we get good visibility like this, it's just a joy. Here's one of my favourite fish, the yellow bar angel fish. They're inquisitive. And there's more of the Ehrenberg snapper. We get thousands of these in, in the Gulf. Here we are, there's a porthole. And I think, yeah, there is. There's another yellow bar living in there. Here's some footage from um, Badger, I believe. Um, this is where they're up at the, on the, at the stern, on the prop. I don't know really what that is, um, but it looks interesting. Here we've got some uh, banner fish. We, we do get these quite a lot on the wrecks, especially in the deeper water, like 22 meters. Um, but not as many as, as the snappers, of course. But they do make a welcome change from that sea of yellow fish. There's some more um, footage from inside. Um, we didn't penetrate the wreck um, deeply at all. First time on the wreck, we wanted to get a feel for the wreck. Um, I'm sure that um, Badger and Stevie have got a plan on the next dive to do a bit more explanation, exploration. And the, there's the prop in good shape, nice and big. You can do a swim through, as you saw Stevie just do with his scooter. So the stern is lying on its port side slightly which makes it a little bit more interesting than the bow section. Here we are coming up through the, through the propeller. And really, what a, it was just really a nice dive. Not much current, good fizz, and a new wreck. What more do you want? And the Barracuda are back in town. So there we are. We've finished on the wreck. Do our safety stops. And back to the boat. Well, we're just leaving the jumbo. Quite a nice sized wreck, as you'll see in the, in the video coming up. Um, nice visibility. We had barracuda, batfish, lots of fish. Um, the vis is good there because the bottom is a very coarse sand and rock. Um, so that means we're not getting so much of the fine, silty sand when the tide moves blurring the vis. We've been told the vis is always good there and that seems to be a correct report. We'll definitely be back on the jumbo with a lot more to explore.